Welcome to the homework for Lesson 9, Grade 3, Module 2. Write your name first. And we're going to do a little uh, home investigation. Find some containers at home that have a capacity of about a liter. And that's the really important part here is that it says about one liter. Use the labels on containers to help you identify them. So if you see something, you may find some uh, larger water bottles that are maybe half liters, they'll say this on them. 500 milliliters is half a liter. Or you might find uh, a, a bottle that has 750 ml. Now you could call either one of those, you could round them up to one whole liter. So if you see one that says that or that, you can count it, you can use it. Uh, so, and here are some examples here carton of orange juice might be a whole liter. Um, you might have a liter bottle of soda. Most of the, the big ones are two liters, and it'll say right on them. Look around the bottom of the label. Is usually where it says it. Usually somewhere on the bottom of the label that's on the front of the front of the bottle will usually say. And I'll leave it to you to find stuff in your own house. And here you sketch the containers. How do their sizes and shapes compare? You know, so you may have one that looks like a carton. A carton looks kind of like a box, like that. You may have a bottle that looks coming like this. It might be like that. You might have, you know, you could have all different kinds of looks for a bottle. You may have a soda bottle that kind of looks like that. Uh, you might have, the thing is that if they're about a liter, then what, some might be a little bit bigger than others, some might be a little bit smaller than others, but they're different shapes, but they should be about the same size in your picture. And we have a question to answer here. How do their sizes and shapes compare? They are about... the same size and have different shapes. Maybe the ones you found had all had the same shape. Then write that they all have the same shape too. I mean, the ones that you find are going to be different than the ones that I find because you, you don't live in my house. Number two, the doctor prescribes Mrs. Larson's five millimeters of medicine each day for three days. How many milliliters of medicine will she take altogether? So five mLs, three days, right? So day one, day two, day three, five mLs, five capital L's, 5, 5 ml each day. How many milliliters of medicine will she take all together? 3 fives, 5, 10, 15. We read it, we drew it. There's our number sentence, now we need our statement. She took 15 ml of medicine. You got to have all that. You got to have the picture, got to have the answer statement, and you got to have that number sentence. So maybe you do it with addition, that's fine. I use multiplication. Mrs. Goldstein pours three juice boxes into a bowl to make punch. Each juice box holds 236 milliliters. Why not 250? Why 236? How much juice does Mrs. Goldstein pour into the bowl? So it's three 236s, right? So it's three juice boxes. Each one of these is a juice box. 
Each box is a juice box, and each one has 236, 236, 236. Them elves. <clears throat> so, there's a lot of ways to look at this. If you're going to add all these up, I recommend this strategy, verticality, makes things a lot easier, otherwise you're going to have to do this. You're gonna to have to do this, which is it's really the same thing. It just takes it's just more work to do it this way. But if this makes more sense to you, and you have a hard time with vertical math, then you can do this. Right? You have three two hundreds, three thirties, and three sixes, which makes for three two hundreds is six hundred plus the 330s is 30, 60, 90. And then we have three sixes. That's 18. It's going to come out to the same number both ways. Three sixes is 18. Didn't we just do that? Got to bundle that 10. Don't forget about it and just forget it and leave it in space. You have to add it in to the rest of these. You got three, three, three. Three threes is nine, and a one makes ten. And that's ten tens, which makes a hundred. And now we got to add all the hundreds together. Two, four, six, and the one more makes seven. Seven hundred eight. She. Poor. So there's two different ways to add it. You could do either one. Either you do the number bond strategy. Or you can do this. Maybe you have a whole other strategy that works for you. She boy, you got to show it. Is that what matters? You have to show how you figured out that those three added together. Is that you have to show how you did it? You can't just write down. I knew it. She pours seven hundred eight ml of juice in. The bowl. Daniel's fish tank holds 24 liters of water. He uses a 4 liter bucket to fill the tank. How many buckets of water are needed to fill the tank? So we're, we're counting by fours till we get to 24. You may already know what this is. Um, but our picture is going to be 4. Four, 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 right? And let's say right, that's going to be eight, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Another four is twenty. Another bucket, twenty-four, and we're going to stop there. How many buckets is it? One, two, three, four, five. That's six buckets. So we could have written uh, four times something equals 24. Or six or something times four, right? So, uh, It takes six buckets to fill the tank. If you want to really be imp impressive, write the division signs. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Sheila buys... 15 liters of paint 
to paint her house. She pours the paint equally into three buckets. How many liters of paint are in each bucket? You might know this just right off in your head. But she has three buckets. One, two, three. And you probably know that it's going to be five, ten, fifteen. It's going to be five in each. But if you didn't, you could show it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's five in each bucket. Three, right, five, five, five. Three times something equals 15, which is the same as 15 divided by three equals that. Either way, the question marks are going to come out to be fives. Five L are in each bucket.